You're watching DIY Nate. If this is your first time here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to my weekly content. Today on DIY Nate, I'm showing you how to stop a constant dripping Delta faucet. My faucet is a debonair single handle pullout faucet. It's model 16927-SD-DST. You're going to see me take out the valve assembly or cartridge and replace that with a new one. It's a very easy project. Good luck. I'm giving you a look here. This sink just won't stop dripping and uh, you can see it's uh, it's got a slow leak. Um, I did call Delta Faucet and they have now provided me with a couple parts and pieces. Um, I'll pull those up in just a second. All right, the two parts Delta provided uh, for this sink, this particular type that I've got, um, it's the RP50587 uh, Delta. Um, that's gonna be your, um, your valve. They also provide this brass fitting here uh, that kind of goes above it. It's got that rubber seal uh, as well to make sure you've got a good connection. And that part number is RP51503 uh, bonnet nut uh, is what that is. So. That's what they sent in the kit uh, they sent over to me. And, uh, you know, in some cases, your faucet may have a warranty, uh, may be free of charge. So in my case, I was fortunate that uh, Delta was willing to cover it for me. So um, you may get lucky. If not, you can certainly buy it through the link below. But um, definitely um, check it out if you can get a hold of their customer service and they'll take care of you. Uh, they save you a few bucks. And, you know, for me, that'd be my preference for anybody watching my videos. Save the money uh, if you can. And, of course, like any good... Uh, um, asset protection uh, organization Delta pays attention to their uh, their plastic protection here and so you're gonna need a chainsaw to cut in this. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding you should be able to get into it with a knife or something like that but uh, you can see they really make it a uh, make it a little bit difficult to get into that packaging okay you'll also notice on the valve there is a setting uh, that you can change one side to the other I believe this is a scald protection thing where it goes uh, to a, a level that um, you can uh, can set it to it comes by this by default i'm not going to mess with it now until i see what my, my other valve is set with and uh, we'll go from there okay so our first step you want to make sure you cut the water off i'm going to cut the water off underneath the sink there are two um, valves that i'm going to turn off um, if i can't get them off there i'll cut it off at the main house um, in the basement because uh, these apparently are a little sensitive and i don't know if i can get it all the way off i'm going to give it a try here Okay, good news, I was able to cut it off underneath the sink so I don't have to cut the whole house water off. Um, I was a little worried about the, uh, the fittings underneath there. So as I understand it, the next step we're gonna need, we're gonna pop this little uh, this little tab off here. Maybe something like a, looks like I've got a little pen here. I wanna be careful you don't pop this down the drain either because uh, that would be annoying. There you go, whoops, and that's just what I did. So, did not go down the drain, thank goodness. But uh, you can see that little, little piece there. Um, comes out, uh, but again, be careful not to send it down the drain, otherwise you'll have a, uh, a part that's annoyingly uh, difficult. You are gonna need an Allen wrench for this next part of things. We're gonna use an Allen wrench to uh, separate the handle here. Okay, I've got my Allen wrench in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn to the left, hopefully. That's gonna be hard to break that, so I'm gonna have to go in with the full, full uh, as much torque as I can get there. Okay, from here I did a couple turns uh, around and I was able to get it to pop right off. So I've got the uh, faucet head here um, off and we're now looking directly into the current cartridge in there. I want to show you this as well. The uh, setting is also uh, pointed to this side so we know that cartridge uh, is over on the end here. So next step we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, bonnet nut, or this, uh, this washer off here. Oops, there we go, better view for you. Off. Give it some pretty good pressure. You might have to use a, uh, a wrench of some sort to loosen that, but I unfortunately was able to let me do this just by myself. That's pretty good there. Try to hold the fitting off there. Uh, right here, I'm taking off this piece. And that's really the main thing we want to we want to accomplish today. Uh, you can see some grime buildup on the other the other parts here. So, okay, because they sent me both replacement parts, 
I'm going to take a shot that the issue is really just the valve and we're gonna replace the valve. I'm not gonna mess with uh, taking this uh, bracket here or this bonnet nut and replacing that even though I probably could. I am gonna rinse it down though and clean it off uh, just while I'm in here. I figure it's probably best to get the uh, any grime and debris that's built up over time. I'm gonna do the same with the sink faucet handle and I will be back to it in just a second here. But I'm gonna go ahead and set this in place down here. And we now have our new um, faucet seated there. Very easy to just seat it in there. You can kind of get an overview. Um, let's do that one more time for you. Just pull this in, comes out, goes right back in, and it locks in place a little bit um, right there. And that's what you get. Okay, probably an unnecessary step here, but um, for your benefit, I'm gonna go ahead and wash off both of these parts. You can see this one we got here. Grind cleared off a little bit here. Make sure we get good. Here's a uh, here's the stuff there. There's a uh, rubber fitting around the side here that uh, you know could, could create some leaks, but because it wasn't leaking where you would expect on the uh, the handle, uh, that kind of tells me that's probably not my issue. Also cleaning some of the handle grime off since I'm never going to have this uh, ability in the future <laughs> to really uh, get get in there and clean out some of that stuff. So that's what I'm doing there. All right, we're ready to go. Okay, so now we're setting the uh, bonnet nut back in place here. And make sure we get that uh, well seated. And now we're just gonna take the time to turn this guy on here. Really get him on there good. Make sure we're not leaving any gaps. But if you remember, I hand tightened this myself. so. I'm not too worried that I need to use a heavy um, high power wrench or anything like that to get it on there. I am going to use as much torque as I can get there. And before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the, uh, the sink and I should be able to um, actuate the, uh, the handle here just to make sure that it's going to work. If it works, and I'll know everything is working fine. I can also see if there's any leaks here um, by doing that. And that way, um, you know, I can, I can repair it before I go too far. So. And just to give you an idea what I'm dealing with under my sink, um, under here, I've got one of my faucet panels here that I need to open back up. And the water is running. And let's just check. That's all the way off. So we know our faucet is going to do what it needs to do. Before we've reattached everything, I'm always a big fan if you can get, get the solve and make sure it's actually solving the problem before you're done. Uh, that's always a really good way to do it. So um, let's go ahead and finish this thing off. We're running nicely here. It cuts off very easily. Um, the other thing I know, I'm not getting any drips. And the other part, uh, since I decided not to replace that bonnet nut here, um, I also know that that was not my problem either. So I'll have an extra bonnet nut I can use in the future, um, but you can kind of see how that worked. All right, so probably best to cut your water off when you reattach the, uh, the handle because um, I say that, I think I can get to it from this angle, but because if you push it back, it's gonna leave the water running while you're working on it. So I'll probably do that for just a second here. Um, I've got my faucet on here. I feel really good that this project was really easy and now it's really done. I'm just gonna put the parts back on the way they need to go. Make sure I get a good connection there with that uh, Allen wrench screw. no drip. So the drip has been solved. Drippy leaking faucet. Uh, good to go. Do not lose this part uh, because your sink will look really ugly if you do. Uh, remember the little red and blue thing there and I want to make sure I get it set in the right location. Red to the right. Red to the left. Blue to the right. In this case. Okay so that is about the hardest part of this project pushing this thing back in there. Uh, but that's uh that's done and uh, that project Feel really good. This was an easy fix today on DIY Nate. So really hope you enjoy it. And hopefully I save you a couple bucks with the uh, Delta faucet. Um, a lot of these faucet companies do manufacture their faucets and they put a warranty on them. I know I've used this before with Price Fister. Delta was another one. I called them up and they shipped me the parts. Great customer service. They back up their products. Uh, so I really appreciate that. But 
for those of you going out buying product, you might have some success calling their 800 number or sending them an email. On the other hand, if you didn't buy your house originally or you didn't buy the products, possible they won't cover it. Uh, but if that's the case, you can check out the link below and get your faucet fixed the way I did mine. So I really hope you enjoyed this fix on the Delta faucet here. Hopefully you uh, will have similar success with yours. And I would really appreciate it if you consider subscribing to my channel. I've come out with content pretty regularly. If you enjoy watching people fix stuff or creative ideas for different home improvement projects, certainly would appreciate it. Don't forget to give me a like uh, and a comment if you uh, enjoyed this video and have a great day.